Hi everyone, this is just a short and quick update video to follow on from the best way to learn Blender 2.8. Since making that video, more and more content creators have started releasing new beginner courses that are freely available to watch on YouTube, so what I'm going to do is show you some of my favourite new ones and hopefully give some of the newcomers a good place to start. First of all we have CG Boost, who has just come out with a new course. It centres around creating a high quality still life fruit bowl scene. The whole thing is done to a very professional standard, and honestly the quality of the end result is probably the best I've ever seen for a Blender tutorial. The videos are being released one by one, and the longest so far is about half an hour, so it's not too much of a time investment. You might remember as well that CG Boost is the creator of the paid launchpad course that got my highest recommendation in the last video. But now we move on to Blender Guru, aka Andrew Price, who pretty much made the de facto beginner tutorial series for the last major version of Blender with the iconic donut tutorial, which I'm sure a lot of you will remember. They have recreated it now for Blender 2.8, uploading the videos one by one and taking the extra time to talk about some of the new features. If you want to see how popular their original Donut tutorial was, then just go to the Blender subreddit, search for Donut and enjoy the results. Given the community appreciation for their previous work, I'm sure their updated course is going to be very popular. Moving on from this, we come to Flip Normals. They've been creating content not only for beginners trying to learn 2.8, but also for professional artists who are interested in migrating from other software. The people behind Flip Normals also have a lot of experience as character artists in the film industry, so you can expect to see some content geared towards that kind of work. But as well as that, they've started outputting some nice beginner videos. But from taking a look at the community posts on their channel, it looks like they will be releasing a comprehensive introduction to Blender within the coming weeks. The runtime is just over 8 hours, and it seems like this lightsaber render will be a point of focus for it. So make sure to subscribe to their channel if you're interested in seeing it when it's ready. Now we move on to Born CG, who I've seen recommended quite a lot amongst my audience. Over the past few weeks they've been outputting comprehensive beginner videos that are roughly an hour long each, so if you prefer long form content this might be the kind of series you're interested in. And then there's CG Geek, who a lot of you will already be familiar with. They've created a 6 part beginner tutorial that centres around this nice looking ice cream model. The videos are anywhere from 12 to 20 minutes long and they look pretty well laid out, so I can recommend them if you don't have much time to spare. As you can tell, there's a lot of free learning content available for people looking to get into Blender, and now that 2.8 has been released, this is definitely the best time to learn the software. In my video, The Best Way to Learn Blender 2.8, I said that it's a good idea to learn from as many teachers as possible, so if you're interested in learning from any of the courses shown in this video, then there's no point in picking just one. Consume as much of the learning material as you can, and make sure you're applying those skills in your own time. There are many other content creators I recommend checking out, and I listed a bunch of them in that last video, so I'll leave a link to it in the description. So that'll do it for this update video, don't forget to follow to get notified on upcoming content. I have some more generative add-on projects in the works and I promise I'll show you them as soon as they're ready. I'll be at the Blender conference on the 24th of October if you want to say hi, don't be shy, I'll be nice, I promise. So have a great day and I'll see you next time. Is it just me or does everyone seem to be making food related tutorials nowadays?